Hello everyone, welcome to my channel 1M90 and this is Amit. So this video is basically in continuation with my earlier video. So in the earlier video we saw how do we let the user log into your application using Facebook with the help of Graph API. So in this particular video what we shall be doing is we shall see how do we post links on behalf of the user using the Graph API via your app. So without wasting much time, let's get started. As you might be aware that, you know, we had started the code with zero lines of code. So in this video, we shall be using the same code and modify it little bit so that we will be able to post links using the Graph API. So let us open the sublime text, which I have opened up. So this, this is, this was our index.php if you could recall. So in this, I have added an additional permission, which is publish underscore action. Publish underscore action lets the user, you know, it, it allow it lets the user to publish the post on behalf of them. It means that by using this particular publish action permission, your app will be able to post on behalf of that user via your app. So what we shall be doing is we will be adding this publish underscore action method or the action permission in this particular permission array. So and this we shall be passing it over here to the get login URL method. So as soon as we do this, so we need to create a new function, a new PHP file, which is post to facebook.php so let's go ahead and create it so i have kept it created so that you know i just wanted to make this video a short one because i i recall that the, that my earlier video was about 25 plus minutes so i didn't wanted that to go that to extend it to so long so basically what i have modified in this particular index.php is just i have added the publish underscore actions and after that let us head to login hyphen callback.php in this in this particular uh, page i have just added the post url here so this is the post url so this uh, so i have created a new file which is post to fb.php and i have echoed that particular url and there is a link that i have given post link on facebook so that that's so simple and silly so this is a post URL, so it gets redirected. So as soon as it's a, just a hyperlink. So as soon as you click on this, it gets redirected to this particular page, which is post to FB. So let's see what's in post, post to FB.php. So it's basically same. This part is almost the same thing in each and every file. So the other thing that, you know, we added over here is link data. The link data is the link that you want to post on Facebook. You know, so you, so you pass the link over here, which is, I mean, this, this is just example.com. I have picked this from the uh, official Facebook documentation and whatever your message might be. So this is the user provided message. So let's, uh, this is a link uh, data. So this is how you post. So you use post method of Facebook object. So FB post then me feed as a first parameter then the link data whatever uh, whatever is your data so it might be example.com or it might be a facebook.com it might be google.com any link that you want to give or that you want to share so, and whatever the message is so this can be empty as well so it's it's it need not be a, a message you know it, 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 need, it need not be a message with some text you know it can be blank as well so this is a link data, you know, that you are passing it over here. And so if you can see in the login callback, I'm storing the access token in this particular session. Where is that? Yeah, here. So in this particular session variable, Facebook access token, I'm storing this particular access token, whatever is retrieved from the get access token method. So that I'm storing in a session and here I'm making use of that session variable so that 
the link data is posted over Facebook. So that's it. So and then you know uh, on response it gets the graph node, and uh, this graph node has the ID of that particular post. So this is it. So let's see how does it work. So let me refresh this. So I'll click login with Facebook. So and here you go. This is how. Uh, this is the earlier. If you uh, you know refer my earlier video, this is I have explained each and every thing about uh, this particular uh, object. So now you can see the new link over here. So let me just click on it. So it says posted with ID this. So it means that the link has got just posted. So let's verify this. Let's verify it's really posted or not. So hang on, it's over here. So if you can see here, it's user provided message just now via Amit app test one. And this is the example domain. So whatever the link we have shared, right? So that is what it fetches as your URL over here. So now if you click this, it gets redirected to example.com. So this is how it does. So basically, let me just do one more thing real quick. Let me remove this so that I would like to show you one more thing. So let me remove that. So let's refresh. I'll say login with PHP. So now it will ask me for the permission. So here initially it will ask only for public profile, email address and likes. So that is what we have provided. If you can see it here, so public profile is by default, you know, you need not provide that uh, additionally over here. So email and user likes are provided at first, at first instance. And at the second instance, what is that? At the second instance, it says this app would like to post to Facebook for you. So it means that you can all, I mean, it's, it's, it's confirming for the second time. I mean, in, on the second screen so that you're really aware what you're doing. So that's the reason it is, you know, highlighted in a separate uh, section. You know, it's not a comma separated in the earlier modal window. So who can see this Amit app test post on a timeline? So you can select uh, public, friends of friends, only me or any, any custom things. So that is how it is. Send you say, okay. So once you give access, so it will be able to post on your behalf. So now uh, the graph got executed. So let's see. I'll say post with Facebook, post link on Facebook, send it post with the same link again. So this is how it is guys. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, like this video. So uh, stay tuned for further updates. Please feel free to share, subscribe and like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.